bigger machinery, more production, I don't think it's ever going to stop growing. And it is, yeah. I'll be honest yeah. with you, it does look like kind of shitty. Yeah, yeah. Excuse my language. The line would start here and run straight to the west. And where would the uh, the Enbridge line run here, in terms of the, uh, the the location? If it comes in, it'll be just halfway through the canola field. It it's not going to help the economy much. Yeah. Uh, because it's not a, anything permanent. It's just put the pipeline in and they're gone. Perfectly cooked oatmeal, Frank. Here comes some dust. Awesome. Enbridge. That pipeline is about all that stuff. We don't need it. We try to take out that wherever the contamination is, but once it's in the river, it's it's almost lost. We're in bear country. Uh, what we are opposed were, like I said, blind blindly going into a project like Enbridge and gambling with something as, as beautiful as this. BC fishing. I would like to uh, address with, with Enbridge, if I had a chance, mm -hmm. to ask what they are going to do. I mean, not the rhetoric. Yeah. Like, let's not, go, let's go past the rhetoric. You know, Enbridge said this will never happen, and here is a spill in a river, and how do they contain everything, and, and um, what is the impact, and I mean, what I hear now is the Kalamazoo River is, is a dead zone. You can't control nature, and Enbridge can't control nature either. If uh, something were to happen in these valleys, in these kind of conditions, good luck fixing the leak. No technology exists to address spills in mountain rivers. There's simply nothing you can do. You can shut it off, but what's in the river is in the river. And mm -hmm. these are very significant salmon rivers. Kitimat River. And they say how uh, the pipeline's a good thing, it's gonna bring work, and then I look at them and say, well, I'm a guide, and if it leaks, what am I gonna do for work? That's gonna put me and all the other guides out of work as well. Yeah. So, are you creating work or taking work? In the event of an oil disaster, all our efforts and stewardship of our lands and waters would be lost. We got a $140 million wild salmon economy up here that would be totally threatened, if not ruined, by this thing. The second highest wave ever recorded in human history uh, was just out at Hecate Strait and right on the proposed tanker, tanker route. Waves that high uh, sink tankers, super tankers. They break them up. I make the best out of this, this every year to, to provide uh, for winter use for my family. You know, at some point we got to make a choice. 2010 is the hottest year on record so far, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Climate change is on. These projects are dinosaurs, and they should do what dinosaurs do, which is die. Mm -hmm.